It's never easy when you have an aging parent and you're not always nearby to make sure they're okay. And TV host Lisa Gibbons knows this all too well. I love my daddy. He's like the greatest person. He's my hero. I always think of dad as just larger than life. You know, he's strong and handsome and busy. He's John Wayne. Nothing's ever going to happen to my dad. My dad lives in South Carolina and he loves to be outside gardening. And he was in the yard and daddy got stung by a swarm of yellow jackets. And that allergic reaction, that venom in his system, is the first time my dad had ever been to an emergency room in his life. Dad goes to the hospital and they said, you're gonna be okay, but we found you have advanced coronary heart disease. His doctors wanted to do surgery right then. And he said, no, not doing it. And we said, well, then you have to do this. That's when we made daddy get the personal medical alert system. The night that daddy had the heart attack, I had just seen him. We were all together at an event and he left early, which he never does. So I called him, he said, I'm okay. I think I'm just exhausted. A few hours later, I got a call saying your dad's in an ambulance on the way to the hospital. Daddy had a heart attack that came out of nowhere and bam, he hit the floor. Luckily, his girlfriend was there and even still he said, let's don't call the medical alert people. Let's wait, I'll be okay. And she goes, you're not gonna be okay. She pressed the button, they answered in 20 seconds and in five minutes, two ambulances were outside the door. Please welcome our good friend Lisa Gibbons to the show, and we're also blessed to be so joining us on the phone. Her father in South Carolina, Carlos. Hi, Daddy. Look how great he looks. He does look great, and he's doing great. And I got to tell you, he owes this second chance to his good thinking and the fact that we made him get that Phillips Lifeline. Well, you know what? He, <laughs> we pushed, and he didn't want it. My dad are like the same age, and they are so stubborn. So I mean, yes. the, the idea that you were able to even convince him to wear it, he and wanted to me to stop nagging it? him. <laughs> He's like, "Will you get off my back if we, if I just do it?" That's but but so Carlos, cute. I do number one have to say that we're so happy that you're alive and well. Yes. And, and obviously, you are like so many men I know, proud. And last place you want to be, I get it, is the hospital. But after all this happened this summer, how's your health now? Well, I feel like I've been resurrected. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> you sound happy, and is your girlfriend happy too? Oh, well, I'm telling you, if it hadn't been for her, I probably wouldn't be here. She's the one that pushed the button. I kept, I kept saying, "Well, let's wait, let's wait a little bit." And she said, "Wait, nothing, bingo." And, and less than ten minutes, I was on a stretcher to the hospital. And you know, sometimes I think we do have to advocate on behalf of the people that we love. When you love someone, you want to take care of them, right? So a lot of us boomer children of parents like my dad, you know, we worry. And so I say just take it off the table. It's like this is a gift I'm giving you because I love you. Mm -hmm. And um, because I, I know that, you know, if you want to live by yourself, which daddy has always been, you know, independent. very independent, mm -hmm. then please let's do this so I don't worry. And Great also, humor. this does have a happy ending, but Carlos, in your stead, I'm just going to go ahead and tell everyone out there watching, you know, if you're starting to have heart attack symptoms and you literally hit the floor, do not try to figure out a way to avoid going to the ER. I'm so glad that you got the proper mm -hmm. care that you needed, and uh, I know Lisa's the one who's the most happy. About I it. really am. All of us are family. We love my dad. I love that. I love the idea. I told my dad I was going to put uh, cameras around the house so I could keep track of what he's doing. But maybe this alert system is the way to go well, because when you can get help, help listen, 24/7, no matter yeah. where you are, no matter what happened. So if you fall, let's say you're unconscious or you're immobilized or you are just disoriented, it can call for help even if you can't, mm -hmm. and that's really valuable. And, yeah. and do you know that men wait? Six plus hours on average to call 911, that's just too long because that may be just long enough that your heart muscle, it experiences irreversible damage or you could actually die.